let's break down the risk management framework, RMF, using a simple house analogy that actually makes sense. Step one, categorize. Start by figuring out what you're protecting. In your house, that's your valuables. Jewelry, your laptop, maybe important documents. In cybersecurity, it's your data and systems, and how badly it would hurt if they were lost, leaked, or messed with. Step two, select. Next, choose your security controls. If your stuff is valuable, you're picking stronger protections. Maybe a security system, reinforced locks, cameras. Same goes for information systems. You select controls based on the risk level. Step three, implement. Now, actually install those protections. Put in the cameras, program the alarm, lock the windows. In IT, you're configuring firewalls, encryption, access controls, and documenting everything you did. Step four, assess. Time to test. Does the alarm go off? Are the cameras recording? Are there any blind spots? You're making sure the controls you put in place actually work. Step five, authorize. Someone needs to give the green light. In your house, that's you deciding, okay, I feel secure living here now. In an organization, management accepts the risk and approves the system for use. Step six, monitor. Last step, don't walk away. You keep checking in. Maybe you add new valuables or hear about break-ins nearby. In cyber terms, you're reviewing logs, updating controls, watching for new threats. That's RMF, six steps to make sure what matters stays protected. If you're prepping for the CISSP, this is one framework you'll want to have locked in.